High Preschool. This story is called Mrs. McTats and Her House Full of Cats. It's by Alyssa Satin Capusili and illustrated by Joan Rankin. The reason I chose this story was because many of us have some new furry friends that came to live in our home. So let's see how Mrs. McTats gets a house full of cats. <clears throat> in a small cozy cottage lived Mrs. McTats. She lived all alone except for one cat. Every morning she left as the clock struck eight. To the market, to the market, I mustn't be late. She browsed through the market and chose a plump fish. For Abner and me, what a sumptuous dish. But when she got home, there came a scratch on the door, and in walked two cats. Was there room for two more? Come in, my sweet dears, said Mrs. McTats. I'm sure I've got room for just two more cats. I'll call you Basil, and curly you'll be. I only had one cat, but now I have three. The very next morning, Mrs. McTats woke early. She st stopped to pet Abner and Basil and Curly. To the market, to the market, I mustn't be late. This chicken, I think, will surely taste great. But when she got home, there came a scratch at the door, and in walked three cats. Was there room for three more? Come in, my sweet dear, said Mrs. McTats. I think I've got room for just three more cats. Now give me a moment, what shall your names be? Your Dolly, your Ernest, and Fuzzy makes three. The very next morning, off went Mrs. McTats. What can I buy for my six hungry cats? I've got it, she said. I'll make a nice stew. So she carried home beef and liver to brew. But back at home, there came a scratch on the door, and in walked four cats. Was there room for four more? Come in, my sweet dear, said Mrs. McTats. I know there's a place for just four more cats. Ten's a fine number. Ten cats and me. I'll call you Goldie. And Herman, you'll be. Izzy and Jezebel pranced to cross the floor, and then right behind them followed five more. Coco and Linus, Millie, Noreen, and you shall be Oscar. That makes 15. That's a lot of cats. The very next day off went Mrs. McTats. What can I possibly feed 15 cats? She chose fresh tuna. She chose a fine trout. But when she got home, her cats were all out. She counted her cats from one to 15, but somehow six more cats had just joined the scene. Come, come, my sweet dears, said Mrs. McTats. I'm sure I have plenty for 21 cats. Pip, quip, and Rosebud, Sally, and Tozy. See Tozy up here in the tree? Ursula, dear, do make yourself cozy. But then came another scratch on the door. Could it be more cats? How many more? In came Violet, in came Winnie, and just behind, a kitten she named Zinny. In came Yodel, the last of the bunch. 25 cats ready for lunch. Can you see all 25 cats there? Wow, that's a lot of cats. But something was missing. What could it be? Just what, just what it was Mrs. McTats could not see. As she stood there puzzling, there was a scratch on the door and Mrs. McTats wondered, could there really be more? Could she squeeze in more cats, more than 25? 
who was the one who was next to arrive? Come in, my sweet dear, said Mrs. McTats. I've lived in this cottage with twenty-five cats. But if you don't mind, you're welcome to stay. You're welcome to eat. You're welcome to play. Now in that small cottage lives Mrs. McTats, all happy and cozy with her twenty-five cats. And one little puppy who's known as Zoom in a small cozy cottage with plenty of room. And just when the clock stri strikes each morning at eight, Mrs. McTats hurries off, I mustn't be late. To market, to market, what treats will there be for 26 sweet deers from A to Z? The end. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you are enjoying your furry little friends, that my friends that have new additions to their family. I hope to meet them soon, and I hope you enjoy. Bye, preschool. I'll see you soon.